Good morning, everybody. How are you? I hope you're doing well today, and I hope I can make your day even brighter. Today's show is all about breakfast, which I have to admit can get kind of boring. You know, we're always told, you know, eat a good breakfast, eat a good breakfast, but sometimes it's like, ah, toast and cereal again, or, uh, you know, the same old, same old. Bagels, there's just only, you know, so much of that you can have. And on the weekends, especially, my family craves a really nice breakfast. Today's show is all about some brand new, fun breakfast ideas that I think you're going to love. We're also going to go out for breakfast. We found a real special B&B that not only is beautiful for a little romantic getaway, but also makes one mean breakfast. So we've got a recipe from them I think you're going to love. But you know me. I call myself the queen of casseroles because you got to be queen of something, right? I love any kind of casserole, and I especially love a breakfast casserole because one of the things I like about casseroles in general is it's all in there. So pretty much, you know, it's it's everything you need. And then maybe, you know, um, in this case, if it's a breakfast casserole, fruit and muffins, which we've got a great fruit salad and homemade muffins that we're going to make for you this morning. So just round out the whole breakfast brunch type of thing. Um, and also one dish to clean and they're a make ahead. That's what the other thing I love about casseroles, whether it be dinner or in this case, breakfast casseroles, because breakfast is one of those things, let's say you're doing it on the weekend and you, you know, um, are having people over or you've got to get to church and you're running around in the morning. You know what, if you make it the night before, uh, then you can just pop it in the oven in the morning and run around and do your thing and, and breakfast is done. So this is one of those make ahead breakfast casseroles. Um, I'm calling it the farmer's breakfast casserole because it's really hearty and it's got everything in there um, that my family and hopefully your family will love. So a sip of coffee, I'm going to get to work. All right, well, this breakfast casserole has both sausage and bacon in it. So we're going to use one pound of bulk breakfast sausage. This is just the frozen kind, my favorite. And we don't want the links here. And just fry it up. I like this casserole, too, because it doesn't have a lot of fancy ingredients like most of my recipes. It's stuff that you may already have on hand. So let me get all that sausage out of there. Use my handy-dandy chop and stir to get it browned and crumbly. And I'm doing this in a non-stick skillet, nice big skillet, and that'll get it done in no time. Okay, so sausage in the pan doing its thing. Now I want to get to work on the bread. Now this is um, a couple different things going on in this casserole. We have the sausage. We're going to put some bacon in here. We've got some bread, which is going to give it some nice puff, kind of like a strata. And we also have some hash browns. So I'm just going to use, you know, we don't have to run out to the store and buy a special French bread. We're just going to use ordinary white bread. You could even use whole wheat bread if you wanted to that you already have. And if it's getting a little bit old, maybe a little bit too firm for sandwiches, perfect for this casserole. So, you know, when I'm making the kids sandwiches, I make Riley a sandwich for lunch every day. You know, he likes that real soft bread. But toward the end of the week, it's not quite as soft and fluffy. So, th you know, turn it into a breakfast casserole. And we're going to use about 12 pieces. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A couple more. But whatever you have, if you have, you know, six or eight, it's all going to work. Don't worry. You don't have to run out and buy a whole new loaf of bread. I think that's the other reason I'm calling it the farmer's casserole, because it's very forgiving. You just use what you have. And I'm just going to dice it up into cubes. This is going to serve lots of people, for sure my family with some leftovers, you know, Six to eight people, for sure. Okay, so my bread is all cubed up. Now, I've got a nice big casserole dish. And they make them so pretty, but just an ordinary 9 by 13 would work fine, too. Make sure and spray it, or else you're going to spend the rest of the day after breakfast doing the dishes. And we don't want to be doing that. Let me get back to my sausage, see how that's going. And this is a real quick throw together. You know, I talked about doing special breakfast on the weekends. Sometimes it's really nice to do special breakfast on the weekdays. And once in a while I'll surprise Bob and the kids and throw something like this together on like a Monday or Tuesday night and then pull it out and bake it for them in the oven and while I'm at work doing the show, 
they can smell something in the oven and they've got a nice surprise for breakfast. So this is that quick, that easy, using stuff that you probably already have on hand. And um, just a nice surprise. Life can get so boring, and especially at certain times of the year, to just pull out a nice warm breakfast, um, something different, out of the oven in the morning and be smelling it as it's, as it's cooking while the kids are brushing their teeth and showering up for school. Just makes the day, you know, gets them off on, on a great start. And the leftovers are great for lunch. I'll pack the leftovers like in Bob's lunch, a nice big piece of this breakfast casserole, or even just, you know, be, they can be eating it throughout the week. Warms up really great in the microwave. Okay, so the recipe calls for eight eggs. These are these pretty brown eggs. But whatever you, eggs you have in the fridge are going to work just great. And again, if you have seven eggs, it'll work. It's all going to work. fish out. Got a little bit of a shell in there. I usually have been doing really good when I've been cracking my eggs, but that one egg got away from me. Fish out that little shell. and Don't be afraid to do that. That's no big deal. All right, one more. I should have been safe and done them one at a time. There we go. That little thing. Stubborn. All right. No shells in there. We're all good. Sausage is looking great. Just want it no longer pink and crumbly. And you see how nice this little gadget works? Perfect. Ireland is, my daughter is a huge, huge breakfast person. Really into it. And I know a lot of families, and I think it's a really fun idea sometimes to do breakfast for dinner. Change things up a little bit. Affordable um, and just something fun, something different even for dinner. Okay, so my eight eggs, to that I'm going to add three cups of milk. I always say breakfast and brunch is a great way to entertain. It's very, very affordable. A lot of it's make ahead. I'm just going to get that sausage off the heat there. And uh, then your guests will leave after a certain amount of time. Not that you want to be pushing them out the door, but some of those nighttime parties can get very expensive and um, can last really long. So a breakfast or a brunch, you know, you've got a certain time period, and then people are off to do their thing throughout the day. Okay, a little bit of, this is just ground mustard, one teaspoon of that. Just going to give this egg batter a little bit of flavor with some ground mustard, a dash or two of Worcestershire sauce, and then a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're about ready to start putting this whole thing together. Perfect. Now this is, um, would be right up my family's alley. It's got everything in it we love. We're not going to mess around with a lot of veggies in this. Certainly if your um, family liked veggies, you could throw some in. But that's a different casserole, a different day. This is just the, sticking with the basics. All right, now we're going to start layering. So the first layer is going to be some of this bread, about half of it. Just scatter it over the top. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's the other thing I like about casseroles. When you bake them in the oven, magic happens, and it's going to be wonderful. The next thing I have is I'm using some frozen hash brown potatoes. Um, and you can use the country style or the shredded. doesn't really matter. The recipe calls for about two cups. So I'm just going to, you know, measuring is just one more dish to wash, so just grab a handful. And that's uh, the other thing I love about this recipe is that I happen to love hash brown potatoes and the combination of eggs and potatoes together, so it really is nice in here. Now I've got four cups of cheese total. I'm going to do two cups down right over the bread and the hash browns, and I'm going to save some for the top. All right, next goes my, this is a half pound of cooked and crumbled bacon. You can cheat and, and buy the um, 
ready-made bacon that you just have to throw in the microwave to crisp up. That is wonderful when it comes to recipes if you don't have to deal with the whole bacon grease thing. Or if it's a Sunday morning and you're making a bunch of bacon anyway, just uh, you know, save those leftovers and use them in this casserole. All right, next goes my sausage right down over the bacon. Just kind of spread it out. Now we're going to do another layer of bread. hash browns and cheese and this is going to puff up and just be beautiful and this is a definite make ahead we made this yesterday it needs to um, sit in your refrigerator overnight so it's perfect for holidays those holiday mornings where you don't want to be running around making breakfast I love a casserole like this in the summer we have a lot of guests at our cottage and, uh, you know, it's just really nice to be able to hang out with them in the morning and not be running around making breakfast. So these are perfect if you're having guests. All right, the next layer is the egg batter very carefully. This casserole dish is filling up. But what's going to happen overnight is that egg batter is just going to soak into that bread and absorb all that liquid. And it's very souffle-like. This whole thing just puffs up and it's beautiful to bring to the table. You're really going to wow everybody with this. And who doesn't like a recipe that wows everybody, right? Come on, mom wants to be a rock star. Dad too. Okay. And then the rest of this cheese. Oh, I left out my potatoes. More potatoes. It's all going to bake together wonderfully, so no worries. my favorite part of the casserole, the potatoes. Then the cheese, kind of like lasagna. When it all bakes together, it's all going to be wonderful. Okay, now loosely cover this with foil. Actually, you could tightly cover it with foil. When you bake it, I like to loosen up that foil just a little bit so that the cheese doesn't all stick to the top. You can even like spray the foil with a little bit of cooking spray. So cover it well, get it into the refrigerator overnight. Then in the morning, you want to pull it out of the refrigerator and just kind of loosen that foil up a little bit. Like I say, you can spray it, uh, spray underneath there with a little bit of cooking spray. And this gets into a 325 or 350 degree oven. Every oven's different. And it's got to bake for a good hour. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. And then you want to pull the, the foil off and bake it for another you know, 10 to 20 minutes without the foil so that it, it gets a little bit brown on top. Let me show you how it all comes together in the oven. And like I said, this is a wower, and it smells amazing. Wow. Yes, wow, Anne. Wow, Deb. You can see the bacon and the sausage peeking through. And um, the hard part about a casserole like this is everyone is hungry, and you want to cut into it right away. So consider this. Allow a little bit of extra time for this casserole to rest before you you cut right into it, um, it'll make some nice, nice pretty squares if you let it rest for about 10-15 minutes and, and we'll cut into it and show you how pretty it is with the potatoes and sausage and the um, bacon in there. This is a winner. It's my farmer's breakfast casserole. You can uh, pick it up, the recipe at any Festival Foods. You can also get it right on our website.